Okay, this is uh, week one uh, for introduction to Web 234. Uh, looks like you've already completed uh, your week one introduction. Uh, so I'll just keep this brief. So we go ahead and start on the left side here. If you go to modules, that's the easiest way to access content. I've trimmed down the course since it's independent study for only six weeks. Um, each week you will generally have, I'll start with week two here, um, some reading, podcast, practice lab, discussion, and homework. The graded items for each week is going to be discussion and homework. The reading, podcast, and practice lab are just that for practice and for your benefit. The practice lab and the homework uh, within the weeks will also generally have original source code to look at to help you get started and be successful in the course. So I suggest to download those original source code. Once you've installed XAMPP on your Mac or PC, it will have a control panel on XAMPP. You'll need to make sure and start the Apache and MySQL component. It also installs XAMPP in a XAMPP directory on your Mac or PC. In, C, in, the, in the PCs, it's in the C directory and XAMPP, C XAMPP. And Mac is Applications XAMPP. In the XAMPP directory, the one that we'll pay attention to in the next six weeks and, and you'll be concerned about is the htdocs directory. If I open up the htdocs directory, it's comprised of the root of my website. And so if I was to just type in in my web browser, once XAMPP is running, the word localhost, when I hit enter, it's actually going to the, that web that htdocs folder directory, right? In my directory, I have an index.php page, which in the getting started, um, anything to edit your PHP pages, you're gonna need a, an editor of some type. On the Mac, it's, it's Text Wrangler. On the PC, there's Notepad++. Make sure you download it and look at that. So my index.php, I'm redirecting the users to a Web290 folder immediately. In your index.php, it's the default XAMPP install. And so yours, more than likely, is going to look like this when you type in localhost. It's going to redirect you to a XAMPP install, and that's fine. Uh, I also have you in the introduction to uh, the getting started a download Web290 folder, which I ask you to put in the root of htdocs. When you put it in the root of htdocs, it's going to give you um, a structure to start with for the class. So if I browse out to my Web 290, in fact, yours is going to look like this when you download it. Just a base uh, structure for labs and homework. Labs, again, aren't due each week. Homework is. So if I click on labs, I already have in there the folder structure for the week. You'll only be going up to week six. I've already put something in this one for week one, which is the week one lab on how old you are in dog years. Homework starting week two. Um, I don't have it in that one. Let's go back one here. Let's do a folder structure. I put that in. Yeah, maybe Web 290 copy. Let's try that one. Uh, let's see, Web 290. 
Let's rename this one to something besides Web 290 copy. I'll do Web 293. This actually has content in this one, I believe. And go to the homework. And so, homework starting in week two. Is a hello.php and one other file. So basically when you download the Web290 folder, it's going to give you a basic folder structure for the course. Um, it'll have in there already a labs folder and uh, for the weekly labs and the projects folder for the homework. There's nothing in here, so you'll need to flesh out the actual folder names. Like I've only done one here to, as an example for week one. But generally you're going to need um, the folder structure for them as I have here in the web 290 so you're going to need labs uh, week one week two week three week four and week five and week six for your labs just create those folders and then for projects which is homework again you'll need weeks one through week six and that's going to be your basic folder structure for the class um, going back to the modules for the summer assignment here, the summer course. Um, looks like you've completed week one, week one, so good job. Week two, some reading on basic PHP variables and operators. On the reading, um, I generally give you a link to what I want you to read or a PDF. In this case, it's a PDF. And going to the Practical PHP textbook, online textbook and reading, 2.6 through 2.10 and 3.1 through 3.12. Uh, watching a podcast. Again, these are older podcasts, but the content's still good. Just disregard any dates that might be in there. And then I would suggest on a podcast embedded in a page, I did update Eagle here recently, uh, is to hit this external link to watch it outside of Eagle. So in week two, there is a first PHP application. There's always going to be an example for the lab and homework. And so there is the Chuck Conkles 301 dog ears. On the source code for this, I've already downloaded it on mine. I'll show you what it looks like for week two. So let's go into labs for week two. And there's the first application. Um, when you do download examples, if you do have at the top of the example this code here, that's just for my navigation on my page, on my web page. You can disregard that um, and focus on what's below the first three lines of code, which is the actual example. So this is the basic HTML here, the front end, basic HTML header information, and get right into the PHP information on week two. Uh, with PHP, you have tags, just like you do in HTML. The beginning tags a browser looks at for PHP to grab it is the beginning PHP tag here and the closed PHP tag. In here is in the first example, or first assignment, sorry, first lab, is the simple application to determine how old you are in dog years. So here, statically type in your name, your age. So dollar sign name is how you, dollar sign whatever to write is the variable declaration. You'll notice you don't have to do a type declaration like you do in other languages. It's a typeless declaration. And so we have name and age. Because names in, in single quotes, this becomes a string. This is a number, this becomes an integer. Dog age equals age 
times 7. So it's going to take 43 times 7, put it in the, it'll convert it to an integer for dog age. Echo, name, Chuck Conkle. Next line, echo, space, is, space, is. Next line, echoing, dog age. And then finally, echoing in dog ears. You'll notice one of the echo statements basically is just used to copy that code and put it on it and display it on the browser. So finished example here of week two lab is this right here. If you look at the source code for this, it's just basic HTML source code. You'll notice um, you'll notice it does not include any of the PHP because PHP is a server-based language, so none of the code is going to be viewable for the end users. It will be very quick and very efficient. And so that's the week two lab week two discussion goes over what different what's different about variables in php from other languages maybe you've done in the past and then the homework is going to a website uh, on this website here on basic php finding on that website an area about uh, talking about passing variables on the url and looking at the below example i gave you of beetles Here's the full exercise code needed. You'll manipulate it to fit your example. Create a new folder on week two, uh, called week two on your XAMPP install. And so what that means is in the XAMPP directory for Web 290, inside of pages or projects, you'll put a folder in here for week two. And I'll pretend here this is your code, and I'll save it there in the correct directory. No, wrong one. labs there we go and I'll pull up a uh, week two's example that uh, you'll be able to download. Uh, let's go to so my example here for week two. I've got index.php and hello.php index.php uh, basically is just a uh, basic HTML page to show a list of items and links to those items. The difference is you'll notice um, it's using what's called pass ver by variable URL, pass variable by URL by using this question mark here. So you got hello.php question mark beetle equals Paul, beetle equals John, beetle equals George, beetle equals Ringo. When they click on those links, it's going to go to the hello.php, and you'll notice on the front three lines, it's capturing the pass by variable with a git command. So beetle equals git beetle. It's looking for the actual word beetle in the URL. So it's going to get the value for beetle. Then in the head, I have a title, hello, and then echoing whatever they've clicked on, whether it be um, Paul, John, George, or Ringo. And then within the body, echoing again, hello, whatever beetle was selected. So in this example here, let me 
show you that. So I want you to look at the bottom of the web browser here when I highlight each one of these. The first is Paul. You'll notice the URL at the bottom of the web browser says hello who.php question mark beetle equals Paul. Then John beetle equals John beetle equals George beetle equals Ringo. And I cl I'll click on Paul. It's now going to redirect me to hello who.php question mark beetle equals Paul and so the code is looking for on the get beetle the variable beetle that's in the URL this is actually a variable according to PHP um, and then the right of that's going to be the value so beetle in this case will become Paul they click on John be John, Ringo, so on and so forth. Beetle, now that we've captured that variable value, we can use it throughout the app on this page. So it's used here for the echo command, for the title, right up here, hello Paul. And it's also used for the body, hello, Be hello Beetle, which is hello Paul. So that concludes week two, and that's how you'll do each week. And each week will basically have a podcast for you to watch, source code. And then finally what you'll do is compress that week's folder and send it to me, that project folder. And so I'm going to go ahead and take this one step further. I'll pretend this is your finished example. I'm going to save this to week two. who and then finally the main page which is index okay, that fix out of that Okay, so here is the completed week two. You will right click and compress that week two. Once it's been compressed, that's the one that you're gonna submit in week two homework. Okay, so going back to the module view, I just walked you through week two, a lab and homework both. Make sure you do your reading, watch any podcast, disregard any date related items in the podcast. Um, the labs I do not want you to turn in, that's for your uh, benefit, but the homework for each week and the discussion both are graded items, all right? So week two is PHP and variables, uh, week three control structures, week four forms and sessions, week five cookies and formatting strings, and week six arrays. If you do have any questions as the weeks progress, uh, please email me. Um, the podcasts are already completed throughout from now to week six, um, I might create some uh, weekly podcasts as far as just helping you with seeing how you're going. I will periodically email you too to see how you're doing in the course. But again, if you have any questions, you can definitely email me. And when your email, make sure and include any source code that you have problems with. That way I can help you with that and give you an example. So I hope you learn a lot this uh, next few weeks on PHP. And enjoy the course.